Hey Jots, welcome back. Day 20 of the Racing Marathon. Today with Midnight Club LA, complete edition on a Series X. So I'm hoping for a better performance. So I actually think we're gonna have better loading times. <laughs> so I'm, I think I had the Golf last time or the 240SX. So I think I should pick the Scirocco. Nice Thank cock. You. Wait, what? Book? Man, his car looks so much better than mine. Yeah, oh, yeah, I just remembered we're gonna be bouncing off uh, trees. So no full stop. Which is good for the sense of... Uh, sense of speed and gameplay. Sadly, no way to get to 60 FPS, even on a Series X. Good driving, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did the same thing in Midnight Club 3. I just love w shifting weight crashing into the finish line. Real street. Okay, anytime you <laughs> Such a wait, shit shirt, man. <laughs> Why would you run with Bach on your, uh, man, on your shirt, up, man? man. It's not even First scented ball, either. Like, it's not a side. It's a bullshit. A oh, by the way, racing all, marathon merchandise right here. If you haven't Yo, checked sir, it out man. yet, that's the link. Cockpit. Stressful. I remember playing GTA in first person and I got massive nausea. Like, it's really nauseating playing like this all the time because I was also like turning around inside my car and shooting. <laughs> Good finish. A full remaster? Sure, it would be nice, but. You know me, I would much prefer a new game than a remaster. Because <laughs> it's quite chill <laughs> with the starter car. Plenty of time to, re to react and to evade stuff. Especially after Minion Club 3, which was so hectic. Ever thought about speedrunning this game? Honestly, I think I would rather speedrun Midnight Club 3. Because the game is faster and generally more fun. I think I would speedrun that one. Okay, we need my heat on the strip. I still don't understand what the game asks me to repair. Like, of course I want to repair. If I don't repair, I'm gonna break my car at some point. I gotta say, the pedestrians dodge you a lot more realistically. I like it. Oh yeah, there was a there was a way to teleport. I think it was like setting setting a race, like creating a custom race and then teleporting to the start or something. Yeah, I read the I read the news article. If you if you watch the leaked Need for Speed footage a video, it had it had those cartoony effects on the cars. And by photo, you did photorealistic. Basically, you know, it's gonna look like heat, right? <laughs> it's gonna look like heat graphics-wise. And additionally, you got some comic style effects on the car. Interesting stylistic choice, but. Considering that was already leaked before and now it's confirmed again, kinda. Let's see. Let's see where this goes. You know, I'm in a fortunate position that I'm probably gonna get invited by EA to see the next Need for Speed anyways. And whenever I'm allowed to share that information, I will. I would have, I would have enjoyed some 4K patch for this game, kinda like Forza Horizon God. And we did. Yeah, the loading time is way faster. I'm actually outrunning the cops. It's gonna take a while though. Ah, yeah, you wanna you wanna go you wanna go into side streets because the cops are actually pretty smart. If you go perfectly straight all the time, you don't really lose them. Yeah, like this is where you actually break the line of sight. The eye from the cops in this game, pretty good actually. Look at the traffic though. It's so dense. Increases the gameplay a lot having dense traffic like this. That is true. You need to follow the speed limit or on a, a regular basis, the, the cops are gonna chase you down. My job is out of streaming. Streaming. <laughs> That's all I do, man. All of my income is generated from subs, donations, and YouTube. And of course, sponsors like Mad Monk and Instant Gaming. For cheap game keys. <laughs> Link in the description below. <laughs> I love how he checks his mirror while he is on two wheels. That's driving. Honestly, since it's animated, it's a little bit slower than it could be. 
They could just pop it instantly on the screen. I think one thing that will never change for me when playing this game is understanding what you actually have to do <laughs> in order to progress. I always found it super confusing. Get a bike, buddy. Get a bike. Man, you know what I hate about bikes? They're just too easy to crash. I really don't like the trade-off of speed versus, man, you're gonna crash all the time. Yeah. Ah, if the cops are too close, you can't even... Uh, then it was automatically started. I remember. <laughs> you crossed me, idiot. How's that my fault? I think one gameplay element I would add to Midnight Club is if you drive dangerously, you can recover a boost bar. Can I already buy the abilities in the shop, by the way? In that case, we're gonna level up the zone ability. Probably the most useful at all of Midnight Club anyways. Sometimes avoiding a crash is the difference between winning and losing. Gotta say, the experience of that game on the new console is fantastic. And as I said before, I really enjoy like backwards compatibility of older games on the Series X. Like the console does it really, really well. I wish PlayStation would get their head out of their ass and actually make PlayStation 3 games playable on the new consoles. Checkpoint hitbox. I'm not sure if all the checkpoints have such a big hitbox. Like sometimes you have some really small alleyways and then checkpoints are usually smaller too. So I actually want to change my car now. I did my six races in my tuner. So let's try six wins in a muscle car. I still don't have special abilities unlocked. So what I've seen so far, better loading times and more stable frame rate. As expected really. He says as I'm crashing. Is that the best you can do? I'm still in second gear here. You're also in second place. <laughs> what do I have to press? That is. So just to just to show you this is running on a Series X right now. I gotta say I like that you don't really get slowed down by trees or lampposts. It makes the game flow more nicely, more quickly. And when you crash it actually feels more substantial because it doesn't happen that often. What the fuck is that name? Ah, what are you doing to me? <laughs> Dude, I barely hit the finishing zone there. Ah, uh, the game does not have difficulty settings. You just have to get good if you're losing. But yeah, Midnight Club LA is easier in my opinion than Midnight Club 3. But I think it was Midnight Club 2 that gave me more trouble than 3. You know, I mean, uh, Club 3 might not be the hardest one, but I like all the extra features that were added in the game over 2. This game's story, very much forgettable. It's it's good to have it, it makes the game feel less empty, but it's not really, not really that memorable to a point where you, like, must have it. Yeah, I remember that you have to do the time trials multiple times, so I wanna barely beat the time trial. I can't wait for, wait for some pink slip races. I remember high stakes and this game to have pink slips. Like actual pink slip races where you will lose your car if you lose. Uh, oh, Juiced, right? Juiced also has pink slip races. <laughs> Dude, I only crashed because I followed this guy. Oh, you fucking idiots. Ah. <sighs> I really wish, I really wish that this is not gonna be the last Midnight Club in the franchise. I hope Rockstar makes it more than just GTA in the future. The problem is GTA is so damn fucking big that everything else is just dwarfed. Oh man, this shit pushing me left and right all the time. Okay. I really hope I can drive. No, I cannot. <laughs> oh man. Sir, fuck man, it always looks like there's one. Did I forget way too often to use the ability? Just way too many times. You don't really need to use the ability, so you just end up not using it at all. Which is stupid, because you need to, to use it to upgrade it and actually have more uses. Give me upgrades, man. Man, this game is so slow in the beginning. I really wish the progression was faster. This is way slower than Midnight Club 3, and especially when you play them back to back, it's a bit disappointing. The time's running out! Oh my god, no! Stress me out, dude. 
Can I restart? <laughs> Delivery success. Ah. Damn, some failure. You're point twenty one seconds too late. Take that fucking car with you. I don't want it. Interesting camera right there. Are you fucking kidding me, man? Is that really how I need to do it? Ah, there. Drive and drop mode. And I guess then I have to cancel out somehow? Okay, that's how it works. I don't think you can... Dude, this is really how you do it. And this is supposed to be faster. This is supposed to be faster than actually driving. I mean, if you could zoom out more, I guess it would make sense. But like this... Why did it just explode? I mean, there are also rumors going around that Rockstar is working on a... on a Midnight Club. But it might end up being a Midnight Club remaster. Yeah, I gotta say, the most likely, in my opinion, is gonna be a Midnight Club remaster of some kind. Like one Midnight... some... maybe one, maybe two... Midnight Club games getting a remaster, I think is a lot more likely than a new Midnight Club. Holy fuck, where did you get that speed from? There's so much rubber banding going on. Wait, are we in a pursuit because we destroyed something? It was just the gate, man! <laughs> the car's rolling away. You know, one thing I'll say about Midnight Club LA, since it's only one city, it gets a lot more repetitive than Midnight Club 2 and 3. Of course it's called Midnight Club LA for a reason, but it's kind of boring that it's just one city. Like, I prefer less detail in three cities, but a lot of detail in one city. Okay, dare I say it, I do expect GTA 6 on this console generation. But we might, I mean, I, we might need to wait another one and a half years. Or two and a half years. You want to win that club in New York or Miami? Could be good, I guess. I don't really have any affiliation to any cities in the world. Pretty sure if I cut more there, and it wouldn't have counted. See, that's that's one of the one. It's a little bit of beef that I have with Midnight Club because quite often you see like a massive shortcut, but if you miss the checkpoint, then yeah, it doesn't count. Ow! <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> dude, why does it permanently zoom on the classic autos? Oh, because they didn't do a get into the car animation. Oh, of course. They didn't do animation of actually getting into the car. Appreciate you guys once again. Sleep tight. Definitely do come back tomorrow for more. And good night.